Scorpio. What's up, Scorpio? It's Unique Divination, and I'm here with your January 2020 reading. I've got his guidance, essential oil, and rebel tarot. So we're going to start off with a goddess guidance, and it's Arakira. She represents blossoming. And she says, you're just getting started. Have patience with yourself in the process and don't give up. Okay. Scorpio, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve this month, whether it be relationship, business-wise, starting your own business, um, personal development, you know, you're trying to manifest things in your life and it's just not really going the way how you want you are literally the embodiment of transformation, okay? And so the first thing I can tell you is that if you're not releasing old habits, old vices, people, places, and things that no longer serve you purpose, you're going to have a blockage with blossoming and manifesting things that you desire, okay? Get rid of the people with the low vibration. People, places, and things. Stop going places you know you ain't got no business going, Scorpio. All right? This is where the blockage is coming in at. All right? Slow down. Have patience, okay? It's wintertime over here in the U.S., but um, pick up some gardening. This card recommends picking up gardening. Um, use ar aromatherapy or flower essences to kind of help, you know, with your brain and your subconscious mind. Um, and just keep the faith and know that everything's going to be okay, okay? Slow progress is still progress, Scorpio. Everything's not going to happen in the snap of a finger, um, and, and most importantly, you have to be doing the work, okay? Just sitting around wanting for things to change is not going to happen, like I said, until you remove people, places, and things out of your life that are low frequency and low vibration. Again, you're literally the death card. Scorpio is on the death card. So that means all the old shit has to go away before new things can come in the picture. And that's just the way it is. You can't hold on to new, to old thought processes and you want new new thought process in your life you can't hold on to old old habits that are self-sabotaging and you're trying to acquire new things so you're going to have to sacrifice for every sacrifice though that you make comes something new and a great manifestation in your life okay so just remember that the essential oil attached to you is cedar wood and it represents connection the trigger statement is it is too much the true statement is i'm grounded in my body Use your empathic abilities to connect with others. Discern the information you receive and do not take on what is not your own. All right, Scorpio, sometimes you take on other people's problems. Being your empath is great, but it's really not if you don't know how to control it and when to turn it on or off. So you're going to have to work on turning off, just siphoning other people's energy. All right, or just taking on other people's energy when you don't need it. Next, we have Rebel Tarot, and it says, stop sleeping so damn much. Wake up. You're missing some cool shit. Now, I love to sleep, too. Lord knows I love to sleep, but sometimes you got you can't accomplish things when you're sleeping. So you may want to cut your nap short, maybe down an hour or two. Scorpio, I know y'all like to sleep. Um, and maybe use that, that hour to do something productive for your business, for yourself personally, uh, relationship wise okay you're going to have to relinquish some sleep it's a sacrifice but that time needs to be invested in something else okay all right so this concludes my reading for scorpio january 2020 please like share and subscribe and comment below let me know what you think